let's get everything together for our project for taking a photo, deleting it, and recovering it. The camera that I'll be using is a basic point-and-click model. There isn't anything really extraordinary about it, and that is kind of the point. You can use any kind of camera that, uh, that you have, and if you happen to have a fancy DLSR, this process is going to work exactly the same. Now in this case, I'm using a camera that uses a SD memory card, and this is the SD memory card that I use to take my everyday photos. Now, if for some reason you don't have a camera or have an issue using your camera, you can certainly use a USB memory key as well. Any kind of USB memory key is going to work effectively to test the process of, of putting a file on there, deleting it, and recovering it. Now, both of these I use every day. So when I run a recovery process against it, I'm going to end up with everything that I've got on them showing as a possible recovery. And that's going to be pretty confusing to use as a teaching instrument, and it'd probably be pretty confusing for you as well. So what I'd recommend is, if you've got a spare memory card, to use that, uh, and this is one that I'm not normally using, so I'm going to use that as a basis for taking my photo, deleting it, and recovering it. Now I'm going to format this memory card in order to clean it out, and I won't be doing a quick format, as you've already seen in the lecture, I'll be doing a full format in order to make sure it's as clean as possible before I execute the recovery process. And that's what I'd recommend that you do as well. So use a spare memory card if you can, because it's always better to test without your, your normal memory card. Use a spare one if you can, and I'm going to format it. Now, if for some reason you can't or what have you, that's okay too. You can use your everyday memory card or a USB stick, whatever makes sense for you. Our recovery process is what's called non-destructive. It won't write to the memory card when it's recovering it. So it can't damage the card uh, or any of the information that is otherwise stored. But it's always you know, cleaner to test with a memory card that doesn't have anything on it. So this is what I'll be doing. And finally, we need a way of getting the files off of the memory uh, card and into the computer. Now, I can connect this camera from uh, the uh, USB cable that you can see uh, right here. And that works fine because when I connect this camera to the computer that way, it presents the file system and it gives me everything, all the blocks that I would need in order to successfully recover. Now, I actually, though, prefer to use a memory card reader. And here's one that I picked up uh, at a uh, retail electronics store like Walmart. And as you can see, I can connect inside there my memory card straight in, pardon me, uh, there we go, that's the one, uh, and then connect it straight to the computer. Now your computer may, as pictured, already have a memory card reader straight into it. Your laptop uh, could have that as well, or you may have uh, a uh, connector, connector like this, but whatever you use, certainly you can get your memory card information over. It doesn't have to be expensive model either. This one is one I bought at a major realtor, but this was one that I bought at uh, a dollar store uh, called Dollarama, and it works just as effectively. In fact, it works you know, exactly the same. It has connections for different types of memory cards, and I'm able to use that to connect it to the computer. But at the end of the day, what you need is you need a means of getting the memory card from your camera connected to the computer in a way that the computer can see the file system and the blocks. And if you've got that, then you have everything that you need in order to do the project for this course.